Welcome to the NCAA Skiing Championships. Well, it was very cold overnight here in the heart of the Adirondacks. But today has gone with crystal clear skies, beautiful sunshine, and a great surface to ski on. The current temperature, 24 degrees from Whiteface Mountain, nine miles east of Lake Placid in the town of Wilmington, New York. So many memories made here 43 years ago with the Olympic Games. With indelible moments that we will never forget. It has been, in fact, the source of considerable conversation amongst the officials and coaches here of the memories we share. Today, it's the college athletes that will be creating new memories here in the 2023 NCAA Skiing Championships. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Graves. Happy to be with you today. Let's look quickly at the team standings where Colorado made a big jump yesterday. They're up on top. Utah is second in search of another title. Denver in third. The big green of Dartmouth sits in fourth. A superlative day in cross country for the fifth place team. Uh, UAF Fairbanks, well done. Montana State, New Hampshire, Vermont, Middlebury, Westminster round out the top 10 here today. And as we come on the air, would we would be remiss because we have a lot of ski fans watching. Uh, word just coming into the broadcast center here that uh, Michaela Schifrin uh, just matched Ingemar Stenmark's career victory in Ori Sweden, her 20th career giant slalom win. Incredible. And congratulations to Michaela and the U.S. team. And we're about ready to begin here with our first skier coming up, and this will be uh, Matthias Tefra from the University of Vermont. Run number one coming up. They're all set. It's been clear. Run number one course set by Cozy of Slovenia and uh, John Dwyer, USA. And we did have a great day out in the cross country yesterday. Wow. All right, we're about to start as a Tefra uh, from University of Vermont is underway. He, of course, will be setting the pace. And look at how beautiful the surface that they're skiing on. It's a reasonably open set here. Nothing... Uh, uh, too tricky. Here he comes, Matthias Tefre from Oslo, Norway, representing the Catamounts of the University of Vermont. But uh, in the quest for points, Tepre. it is so important Eight, to five, finish. Right there for the Norwegian. And uh, in slalom, where a lot can happen and happen very quickly, you will undoubtedly see going through the flush there and down uh, to the finish line. And so 52.97 is going to be his time. From, 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 from. Now the second from, from. skier to go yeah, from yeah. the University of Utah. From. Come on. This is a Wilhelm Normaset from Utah. All right, so Norman set uh, on course here. And into the lead by point three three. He won the first split on the last Norian. He's pretty proud of that result now as he comes down in the big swingy section. This is where we're anticipating the snow to get a little bit peeled. And Norman set to. Uh, about down to the finish here for Utah. On fire now the finish line. 
flush. And into the finish line. And uh, down to the finish. And uh, that was an excellent run for him. Ready? Come on, Johnny. Go. And the next gear to go will be from Montana State, Gianluca Bohm. Bobcat skier uh, underway here. Out of St. Moritz in Switzerland. He's a freshman. Switzerland. So the uh, uh, number one time uh, is Norman Seth of Utah at 52.58. Letting him run nicely through the delay. Couple open gates and now finish line. Trailing by uh, just over half a second as he comes down. He lost a bit more time at the bottom. 0 0.71 back. So. Uh, Bohm will be in the third place Go. spot here as we open up the morning with NCAA. Henry Hayden is next up out of Montana State University. We've had a number of skiers uh, in the field, both uh, in Alpine and Nordic, that come from Australia. Henry uh, hails from Sydney. He's a sophomore and on the Austrian national team and a three-time world junior team member. And up by point one nine now with uh, Norman Set of Utah uh, leading the way. Gianluca. In the finish area, watching Henry Hayden. Hayden from Sydney, Australia, attacking the pitch. Looking fast. All right, so off uh, by point four nine here on the slopes of Whiteface. Henry Hayden will stop the clocks with a time. Oh. And to, to the finish for Henry, we'll have him in unofficially. Ready? I wait for that to come up, actually. Get that to you in just a second. As uh, Oscar Zimmer from Dartmouth, from Oslo, he's a freshman. A great uh, performance the other day. Henry Hayden goes into fourth place for MSU. So they have Hayden fourth and Baum in third place for Montana State. Oscar Zimmer won the Harvard uh, Carnival, which was held at Waterville Valley. The top split, he is off by just 11 hundredths of a second here. Made up some time there, and he's only a tenth of a second out of first. Let's see if he can blast through this flush and take over the lead for Dartmouth. So we'll see as a Zimmer comes to the finish. He will be unofficially, I believe, in fifth place right now for the Dartmouth freshman out of Oslo. Zimmer. Come on, y'all. Get after this thing. Let's go. Had a good run. It'll be interesting to see how risky people will feel about uh, going supremely fast today rather than getting the team points for a finish. Joachim Yaga Linstall of University of Vermont is coming next as Zimmer sits in fifth place for Denver at 53-6-8. Twenty-three hundreds uh, off the mark now. The men's slalom is this uh, Norwegian athlete from University of Vermont. Twenty-five hundreds back now. Doing the job for the Catamounts. So he will move into fourth place. Come on, Jake. Ready? 
Pip number is seven is next. Jacob Dilling from the University of Colorado in Boulder. He's a sophomore, has been on the national team. All-American uh, and uh, academic All-American as well, a Dean's List student. Point six one back for this skier who hails from Vail, Colorado. Always fun to go out annually for the speed events at the Birds of Prey. No point six one back. All right, and here comes uh, Jacob, the sophomore, to the finish line from the University of Colorado. And we'll see how uh, he fares. All you can do is smile. I know. It's a beautiful day. Also have the ability to uh, focus in uh, today and tell you uh, how in this individual event, the men's slalom first run where the team standings are in slalom. So a beautiful, beautiful day in our camera is capturing it, not only for its newsworthiness, but it's just gorgeous outside here today. So this will be a bib number eight. Paul Palchik from University of Vermont. He had a, a, a terrific, uh, a nice day in our last outing in uh, GS. And he's being held, I guess, for a little bit of coursework there, which they are raking right now. And this is something that officials were uh, concerned about, uh, knowing that today was going to be very sunny, that this was going to uh, soften up a bit. So it is Norman Zett that is leading from the University of Utah. Matthias Tefre, UVM, Gianluca Bum, Montana State, Joachim Lindstahl, fourth for UVM, Henry Hayden, fifth for Montana State, and Oscar Zimmer in the sixth place spot for Dartmouth now. Still a lot of skiers to come, so we're definitely uh, on a break here, folks. As our NCAA championships this year, hosted by St. Lawrence. University up in Canton, New York. They've had a ski program since 1930. And welcome back, everybody. It's Peter Graves. Uh, we are... Uh... Just uh, seven skiers into the first run of the men's slalom, and um, they're doing a, a little bit of uh, raking up on the course. You don't see it in this shot, but uh, there is some standing snow that they're trying to smooth out here. When we rejoin, uh, it will be Cole Palchik being for the University of Vermont. There is one of the course workers uh, there. We so appreciate volunteers. Ski racing is uh, 
very much a volunteer sport in many ways in this country and without the work of volunteers everywhere uh, we couldn't do it there you look at uh, number 13 Simon Strand That's, uh, he's from St. Michael's College and bib number like eight really that is full like, like, like not like, really like, sure how long a hold we are going to have but uh they'll just stay That's with you racing still though. when when i think it had to have been gmbs kid uh, no i think it was a white face kid because i remember I, which racer will talk like, The slope here is uh, just based the way it lies uh, right into the sun. So uh, expect the conditions to uh, change from the first couple of skiers this morning. Where are my skis, coach? Put him in his race skis and away he'd go and he'd fall at the first gate and win the run by four seconds. That's the kind of talent you see coming out of Smuggler's Notch. Cole Palchek would love to see you. Top of the podium today. Bakersfield, Vermont, his hometown. His dad, a talented Mason who travels throughout the million. Uh, we await the University of Vermont skier, Cole Palchek, bib number eight. Son today, Cole Palchek. And apparently, in addition to uh, breaking off some of that standing snow, um, they are working on the uh, finished timing device there, which obviously is of great import. They'll test it out, and we'll be back to racing action. That is what's uh, happening right now. Did I say petition to move the permit, the GS, the Carnival GS? I think, yeah, I think that's got to so much better. It feels so much better. It's just like, so much more. And also, like that pitch feels completely different for the better. Well, yeah, it's like, it's not so slow and like. And by this point, the racers up there getting probably a little antsy to go. Holds are always complicated, and you have to stay mentally strong. Paulchik coming up, a 22-year-old athlete for UVM. Turn the whole scene right over. In February, in fact, February 25th, as we look at a beautiful shot of uh, there's a lot of newness here. Uh, Part a big uh, new base lodge here at Whiteface. But uh, February 25th, uh, Cole had a third place here uh, in slalom at the EISA championships. And a look uh, coming your way from right, at the top of the course. Are we live? Uh, and Denver skier enjoying the nice. action here today. Cole also graduated from Burke Mountain Academy in 2019. Born, raised in Bakersfield, Vermont. So he will be coming up next. Will be followed by number nine, Mikkel Solbakken out of Westminster. Currently, with only seven skiers. Uh, uh, actually, yes, seven skiers having gone in the men's slalom. This is obviously very early. UVM leads this run so far at 68 points. Montana State second, 63 points. Utah third with 40. 
Dartmouth fourth with 27, and Colorado in fifth with a 25. So it's a uh, a good start to the UVM Catamounts. Uh, and uh, as they want to move up from the position they were in yesterday. And uh, also there on camera, uh, 11 Oliver Morgan. He skis for Dartmouth. They could tumble in the GS event. I can't see the number of the other skier. <laughs> But there is such a camaraderie amongst uh, athletes in uh, collegiate skiing. And that tradition has gone on for a long time. We were talking a little while ago about some of St. Lawrence's traditions. And uh, as far as we can tell, looking back, a uh, ski program started there in 1937. It's still going strong. Back. I was skiing in college for Fort Lewis uh, with the longtime coaches there, Bob Extel, good friend, wonderful man. All right, so again, uh, this very important work being done uh, at the finish line here, and uh, hopefully we'll get it resolved soon. Meantime, we will take a break and come right back with more from Whiteface. Joe Davies, the University of Alaska Turban, and a big win for the Nagel no, no, Fairbanks. He was followed by John Steele Hagenwald, EISA Rookie of the Year from Darby. Second place finish, Bernard Flaschenberger. Here we go, CP. Go, CP, hammer time. So much Ready? Stuff. And welcome back, everybody. Our continuing live coverage from Lake Placid, New York, and today specifically Whiteface Mountain. I'm Peter Graves. As we get down to business again, so things have been organized, and let's see if the Cats can get some uh, good point uh, production out of Paul Check from Vermont. Off to a uh, a good start here. And point for one back thus far of the uh, leading time at 52.58 of Wilhelm Normaset from Utah. And now dropping a bit more, 1.12 back for Cole. And good skiing and across the finish line for Palchik of UVM. And we'll see how Ready? bears right now. Anyway, here is the next skier to go. This is Mikkel Solbakken from Westminster. And Cooper Puckett will be on deck for the big green. Here is Solbakken out of Oslo, a senior out of Westminster College studying finance. Back in 2021, he was NCAA champion. And Westminster has built a fine ski program. Right now, Solbakken uh, back by .61. And now dropped more time at that last split at 1.19 back in the time of Norman set from Utah. And he looks very smooth through there. Wonder if he's picked up any more. No, lost a bit more. Uh, 1.56 back from the time of uh, Wilhelm Norman set. And uh, now the uh, next gear uh, to go will be a member of 
the famous uh, pucket plan of skiing. All great champions. As uh, Cooper Puckett, who grew up in Steamboat Springs, skiing his uh, freshman year for Dartmouth College and Drooping Green Colors. Grew up racing at the uh, very prestigious Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club that has developed a lot of Olympians. Been a good world junior skier. He's also a member of the U.S. ski team in Puckett. Now .98 back in the first split. Paul Palchik is in seventh place at 54.03. Solbakken in eighth at 54.14. And now it's Puckett's turn here on the lower section of the course. Skiing for Dartmouth's uh, new head men's coach. And Puckett down to the finish. And that coach is J.P. Daniel, who has uh, taken over from the storied career of Pete Dodge, who is probably uh, listening today. And the next year to go is number 11. And this is Oliver Morgan. Grew up in Etna, New Hampshire. Sophomore. Took a tumble that took him out of the men's giant slalom. Definitely wants to show what he can do today, and he is a talent. First team All East, 2022 All American. And skiing at his father's alma mater, Dartmouth. And off by .47. I talked to him before the race. Job one is to finish today. But there is that inherent drive that athletes have to be fast. And Morgan across, 1.73 off the pace. But a, a solid finish indeed. Morgan now listed in ninth place, 54.31 is going to be his time. The next athlete to go, wearing number 12, Louis Gustav Fausa. Fausa from the University of Colorado, and Fausa is from Oslo, Norge. Two podiums this year, one in giant slalom, one in slalom. And uh, two times on the RMISA championship podium this season for the junior or Colorado. There's no big change in the top. The uh, time to beat is Wilhelm Normaset of Utah at 52.58. All right, 1.20 back, now 1.49 as Fauza comes to the finish for Colorado. First run for the men here, live from Whiteface Mountain. And now we are ready to go with our next athlete, Simon Strand from Povik, uh, Ben of Norway, outside of Oslo. He is, has been an All-American, studying business administration for St. Michael's College in Vermont. And uh, their Alpine team has been very strong. So again, to get you catch up on some times, so Fossa in eighth place for CU. Dartmouth's Ali Morgan is in 10th, and Cooper Puckett is in 12th for Dartmouth. Now, that moves Dartmouth uh, into second place in the men's slalom of where we are at right now. Strad is 1.69 off the pace. And he arrives at the finish line. Ready. As we make way for uh, the next athlete to go, which would be bib the number 14. <laughs> this is uh, Bjorn Guterol. Again, from the University of Utah, the defending NCAA champions. A 
senior. Uh, Bjorn used to be on the Norwegian national team. And right now, the first split has him off by 0.72. Simon Strand of St. Mike's getting his time coming in here as uh, this athlete now 1.33 back. So we have uh, Jacob Dilling in 11th, Cooper Puckett uh, is in 12th, Simon Strand in 13th, and here is the Ute crossing the finish line. That moves him into 12. Ready? And uh, here we go with the next skier at the top. Intense, bright sunshine here today. Grant goes into 14th place for St. Mike's at 55-1-4. And now is another St. Michael skier on course. And this is Eric Kavino. He's from Oscar in no way. A sophomore. His uh, favorite skier, the not long ago retired Carlo Yonka of Switzerland. And right now, uh, Eric is hanging in there. He's 0.87 off our leading time and nobody has been able to touch the time thus far of Wilhelm Normaset of the University of Utah. Utah sitting in the fourth place in men's slalom right now, but it's UVM that has moved into the lead and across the finish line is Eric Bino. Well, this is a man to watch for sure. And this is Philippe Foyetek from the University of Colorado. He comes out of the Czech Republic, was a member of the Czech Republic's national team. And uh, he three-peated uh, with a victory in the GS the other day. So he's won in three different seasons an NCAA championship title let's see if he could uh, make some history and make four and now he's a grad student but just a fine uh, national team skier oh a little bit of difficulty right there but he's just trailing by 0.23 and now it goes down it's hard to get that rhythm back and he's gonna hike it and this is what we've talked about, about collegiate skiing and getting that finish, perhaps irregardless of time. But a shame, that dream of a possible four-peat just made it away on that for Philippe Vortec of Colorado. And of course, he won't be happy with that, to be sure. His expectations are so, so high, and they should be. All right, so we move along. We have uh, number 17 here now, and this is Maximilian Hausman from Plymouth State. So Foriatek goes into uh, the 16th place spot. Maximilian uh, from uh, Rottlingen in Germany, off by a little more than a half a second, ranked a fifth in GS and 12th in slalom this year in the EISA. And uh, Plymouth State University's top finisher in nine of his 12 uh, races. It's his first uh, NCAA championship appearance for the German for Plymouth State University. 1.17 now back as he crosses the finish line. Ready? Go. And number 18 is going next, and this will be Jack Bowers from the Pioneers at the University of Denver. Hausman now in 13th place. 
for Plymouth. And Eric Vino of St. Michael's College is in 11th place. But again, these are very important points for UVM and Dartmouth, who are in first and second in the virtual standings of this event. Bowers, a freshman. The problem there, but an extraordinary recovery. And it, when you make one, the second one, in a way, becomes easier to happen. You get a little bit flustered. You feel you've got to pick up time. But Bowers has made a skillful recovery, and he's made it down to the finish. For DU, is bib number 18. And our next athlete will be number 19, skiing for the University of New Hampshire. Jack Bowers into 17th for DU, time of 55.47. DU sitting in virtually ninth place now in the first run of the men's slalom. Isaac Hedstrom from Ori, Sweden, where just the a little over an hour ago, Michaela Schifrin just matched Ingemar Stenmark's career victory in Ori. Incredible. Edstrom, a freshman from the uh, lovely town with a big mountain and a big lake and about one hour north of Ostersund. He is now 1.56 back for University of New Hampshire. And to the finish, he will be 2.48 behind our leader. Go. We'll get the time on Hedstrom. Pass that along uh, to you in a moment here as we go on to Luc Chabelle. A Swiss skier. For Westminster College in Salt Lake City. He is a junior studying economics at a fourth place in the World University Games representing Switzerland. We'll 1.28 back for him now. Loic. Right Trying to keep up that tempo now, uh, 1.98 back. The 55.15 is the time for Loic Chabelle. All right, and now we are going to have uh, the Harvard skier. I had a nice chat with him this morning, uh, Frederick Willemson. Ready. He for the Crimson. He is from uh, the town of Berem in Norway. And who would have believed Philip Boryatek of CU in 20th place at the moment. But it just shows how tricky this sport can be. Still at the top, Norman Set of Utah, Tefra, UVM, the Lukabong, Montana, and Joachim Linsdal, UVM in the fourth place spot. And I should also add to that Henry Heaton of Montana State because they have two athletes in the top five. As the Haug of the Harvard Crimson is now a trailing by just under a second. And you see the ruts beginning to develop now, which, oh boy. And some of that run was quite good. And less than a half a second back, uh, less than a second back uh, when he finally skied out. So that's uh, unfortunate for him, but that is, uh, is the nature of slalom. Glad to have you along, everybody, from wherever you're watching in this country or around the world. Here is our next skier to go, Leon Nikic. He is a junior for the Sea Wolves. 
So it is UVM, Dartmouth, Montana State in the top three virtual standings. And we're just talking about men's slalom first run when I do that, just so you, you understand. Chabelle in uh, 18th place. Isaac Hedstrom in 16th for the University of New Hampshire. And the Seawolves have had a long and prestigious program over the years out of Anchorage. 1.08 was the last split. And down to the finish line goes Leon uh, Nekic. Ready. And that is going to be a very good, I think a top, maybe a top 10 finish for him. For Nekic, check that in a moment. As we now have the St. Lawrence skier from our host out, St. Lawrence, Tommy Kanosh. Watch that first interval. Tommy at uh, 0.89 back. UVM still in the lead of our virtual scoring. Montana State in second and just one point back. They're in 60, 63 points. Dartmouth is back at 62 points. Utah trying to move up with uh, 56 points here. And Tommy Kanosh from uh, the Laurentians, 1.73 back now and across the finish line. And he is back 2.64. So we'll see how he will fare here. Ready? Go. Tommy sitting in 20th place, 55-22. So a, a decent run for him. And now uh, to come for Westminster College is uh, Jeremy Leger, a junior uh, from France. His favorite skier is uh, Pintero. All right, and now Jeremy Leger is now 0 0.71 off the pace, so he's close. So there are some teams that need big performances and that may require more risk and there are others that uh, are doing pretty well in the overall standings and they just want those points for the finish jeremy leger uh, down to the finish as we have the next gear up Petter nersness Petter coming from the University of New Hampshire out of Oslo. He is a junior. Number 25. And Jeremy Legier of Westminster is in the 16th spot. 54-83. University of Vermont is holding on of those that have finished a second place, a fourth place, and Cole Palchik in seventh for UVM. So right now, they have moved into the virtual lead of this event thus far as Nersness comes to the finish. 3.94 back for the skier from the University of New Hampshire. And he is in 23rd. He will get uh, 18 points and his time 56-52. And now our next gear on course. Uh, this is Ivor Noss out of Oslo, skiing for the University of Nevada. He is a sophomore. In 2021, he was USCSA's All-American the first first place right now he is trailing by 0. 0.77 off the superlative time of norman set from utah and you can see now at the top of the pitch here comes Ivor Smith. 
That area has been tricky. The skis jet out. People have sat back a little bit. 1.62 back for the Oslo native. University of Nevada down to the finish line for Iver. He will be in 23rd place at time of uh, 55.77. He'll get eight team points. That moves uh, UNH up in this event to the ninth place spot at the moment. And now, ski friends from St. Michael's, here is Gray Flanagan wearing number 27. He is uh, from Westburg, Vermont. Part of Vermont. He's a freshman for St. Michael's, right now trailing by just over a second. St. Michael's sitting in seventh place in our virtual rankings in the men's slalom thus far. And on deck, we'll have uh, Gustav Volo from Utah who's also very good. Flanagan dropping two seconds back here now for St. Mike's. And about to the finish line, and there he is. So we will have the time on Gray Flanagan and just a sec here as we go on to Gustavolo. He is out of Hemsdal in Norway. He's a senior for the NCAA defending University of Utah. A two-time NCAA runner-up. Those coming a year ago when Utah hosted. At number 28, Gustav Rosberg. Whoa. Trailing by just over a half a second now. This could be a good run, barring any mistakes. But the pressure is high now, and Utah wants to get those points. A little trouble there. He skied out. He's going to hike it. Very important. Yes, he's lost a bit of time, but maybe not all that much. He's 1.18 back. But that is disappointing for him. Favoring his hand a little bit. Uh, so, Gustav Volo is uh, down. And he'll be in 26th. 59.18, his first run time. Uh, Utah will pick up another five points towards the overall score. Gray Flanagan in 23rd. And Chauncey Morgan from Etna, New Hampshire who uh, took a tumble and skied out. He's an outstanding skier, really grew up on skis. He's got a very nice touch for the snow. Right now, he is one second off the mark. And he is 1.88 back. With Norman set in the lead as Morgan arrives at the finish line, 2.82 back. And that will put uh, Chauncey Morgan in uh, 22nd place. Holby will pick up nine team points as they sit in 12th right now in the men's slalom. In team points and now uh, Simon Fournier University of Denver he's been a very clutch skier for the team multiple times awarded first team All-American current member of the Canadian national team that will have their nationals coming up after this in Kimberley a lot of skiing left for the senior from Montreal which is under two hours from where we are sitting today in Lake Placid. Fournier now, the second split. He is 1.25 back. Fournier was 13th in the 
1.25 back, and now 2.66 at the finish of Simon Fournier from uh, Denver. Ready? Go. Let's go, Brad. Come on, Brad. And now we have the man who is uh, celebrating a birthday today. The Middlebury skier, Bradshaw Underhill. So happy birthday. And he's off to a good start here. Fournier clocks a time that puts him in 22nd. 55.24, 19 points. Johnson Morgan in 23rd, uh, 18 points for Colby. So Middlebury College, which has uh, quite often over the years uh, not only developed a, a lot of Olympians in both Alpine and cross country, uh, but uh, has hosted these NCAA championships uh, many times in the past. So right now, Bradshaw 1.66 back, number 31. As we get ready to uh, just have our final skiers to go, here comes Bradshaw, 2.98 back. 55.56 is his first run time. And so uh, Bradshaw Underhill goes into the 25th ranking, six points for the team. And now we segue into the run of Cooper Cornelius of the University of Denver out of beautiful Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Not very far away from either Vail or the gateway to the Aspen Valley as well. 0.90 back in the first split for Cornelius, a sophomore who this year uh, took a NORAM win at Beaver Creek. Now 1.77 back. And 3.17 back. 55.75 is the run time and the next gear to go wearing a uh, number 33 is Mons Lungard from UNH he's a sophomore stuttering studying international business and economics and entrepreneurship he's had six uh, best podiums in his career Two fist victories and took part in the University Games here in Lake Placid in January. So Monsa Lengard now just one second back and definitely within striking distance here. We have seen that uh, part of this course has been problematic for just about everybody. And again, it's sort of a series of linked recoveries here. He is now... Uh, over two seconds back for the UNH skier as he comes to the finish line. Ready? Uh, Mons Lengard. Go. No, Riley. No, Riley. Come on, Riley. 34, final racer. And we go on now to a superb skier. Skiing for Montana State is Riley Seeger on the Canadian national team from North Van. A week ago, he was skiing on World Cup with a 10th place in Super G in Aspen, Colorado. Out of the 54th starting position. He's been an Olympian. He's part of a joggernaut of young Canadians that have really come on strong. Uh, he's going to hop on a plane here Sunday. I talked to him before the race, flying to Calgary immediately. And then he will be going to Kimberly, B.C. for the Canadian national championships there Riley Seeger now 2.13 back he told me he was pretty tired from all of the traveling and you can't blame him for that Seeger down to the finish line for Montana State so a, a fine job for him as we will uh, get the times and then uh, get you caught up to date Riley Seeger now 56-1-9, that is 29th place 
for the Montana State skier. Once Lunsgard of UNH is in 30th, Cooper Cornelius, who also finished recently in the 26th spot. So we've had some good racing and some drama. And we have also seen the unpredictable nature of slalom, which you know about, of course. Uh, right now, if we look at this event now finished, the unofficial team scoring for men's slalom only. These are not total points of the entire championships. This is just points from the just completed men's slalom. UVM up on top. It's a valuable morning for them, 93 points. The Bobcats, uh, Montana State is in second, 65 points. Not far behind them is Dartmouth in third, 61. Utah fourth with 56. Westminster College is in fifth. CU in six. St. Mike's seventh. UAA eighth. DU ninth. Then it's Plymouth, New Hampshire, St. Lawrence, Colby, and Middlebury. So uh, that is the story of the men's slalom. Uh, a superlative uh, first run of Wilhelm Norman set from the Utah Utes. At 52, 58. And that win gives him 40 points for his team. Second to Mateus Tefra of UVM. And here you look at the provisional results of which we speak in the men's slalom. Norman Set, Tefra of UVM, Gianluca Baum is in the bronze medal spot. But remember, there's one more run. Joachim Jagalin Stahl, UVM in six. Uh, excuse me. He is in the fourth place spot. Henry Hayden from uh, Montana State in fifth. Oscar Zimmer of Dartmouth. He was their top points getter today. Uh, Cole Polchik in seventh for UVM. Louis Fassa of CU in eighth. Mikhail Solbakken, Westminster in ninth. Rounding out the top ten is UAA's Leon Nekic. That is the story right now. Uh, we'll take a break and be back with more of our live. Well, hello again, everybody. Peter Graves on day three. We have the women's slalom coming up for you. This is the final event, and it goes, of course, down to the wire tomorrow with uh, 20K mass start action, which will be a very exciting race. The women's alpine is uh, next on deck here. And uh, our forerunners are, in fact, on course. And as we had talked about, um, this uh, gets a lot of sun exposure. Our first skier out of the gate in women's uh, alpine here is Nora Brand from uh, Denver. And uh, still a forerunner on course. And big congratulations to all of these teams who uh, just train so hard and all of their coaches the parents are so wonderfully involved as a parent of a former uh, ski jumper. There's a lot of driving and a lot of love and goes into getting somebody to the start line in college. 
happen to uh, have the good fortune, as most people that surround the search team in college at Fort Lewis in Durango, uh, back 70 to 74. Coaching Harvard. I love this sport. It's an honor to be uh, your voice of these championships. Nora Brand, DU, will be the first skier out of the gate. You look live at her. Step number one out of München or Munich in Germany. She has been on the German national team. That one Noram win and two college wins this season. And we're ready when Matt is ready for the first one. Racer one is ready when you are, Matt. I would say that if not all, most of these schools have uh, fostered Olympic ski talent for a, a multitude of countries, not just the USA. Ready? And it is such a popular circuit. All right, we're racing with the women. Again, Nora Brand takes to the course. Now the junior from Germany. Munich, of course, in Bavaria, home to the the biggest mountains in Germany, uh, especially around uh, Garmisch Partenkirchen. So uh, this uh, ski star for the pioneers, getting off to a good start. Much of this course is set reasonably wide. And uh, we'll get her time. And uh, she begins the context of which we begin the broadcast. As Nora Brand coming to the finish. And we'll have... Uh, UVM skier Justin Clement. And number two, Nora Brand will set the time of 56 27. Justin Clement. And then the winner of the giant slalom will come up, and that'll be Madison Hoffman. A uh, point seven two back. All right, she's hanging in there. And uh, now arriving at the finish. You'll we'll see she is 0.96 back, so she had a very uh, solid run for the UVM uh, skier. Ready? And now we take a live look at Madison or Maddie Hoffman, winner of the giant slalom. And uh, she is out of Sydney, Australia, skiing for University of Utah as a junior. Qualified for the Olympics in Beijing in 2022. She's been on the Australian uh, national team. And had two uh, second places at Osler Bluff, Canada, in the Norams. Right now, she has opened up a lead. That shouldn't be surprising. 0.39 back for Maddie Hoffman of the Utes. It is Nora Brand with a number one time, 56-27.
Hoffman could bust the race open right now. Favorite place in the world is Manly Beach, a lovely beach near Sydney. And here comes Hoffman opening up uh, almost a second and now 0.66 back. So Madison Hoffman goes into the lead, my friends, from the University of Utah. Well, excellent, excellent job for her. Her time, 55-61. And here we go. And now Sarah Rask, number four from the University of Denver. And she hails from Stockholm in Sweden, a freshman. So the final time for the collegiate championships on skis for all of these uh, athletes. They will do some NORAMs and other things in the spring 3300s back for sarah rask junior world champion in gs in 2020 and a swedish national champion in giant slalom in 2019 and now trailing by under a second as she uh, heads to the finish line here and uh, she will be uh, 9400s back for sarah rask her runtime, 55.97. That puts her in second place. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. And the next skier to go is Caroline Jones. Bib number five from UVM. Out of Vail, Colorado. Ski uh, for the Vail Ski and Snowboard Academy. And this uh, season, she had the EISA bib leader in slalom. Let's see uh, if she uh, transforms that greatness into this run. UBM uh, Ski Cats on course now. And now uh, heading uh, to the finish line. Final gates are crossed. And Jones of uh, UVM. Just uh, making it to the finish right now. Let's go, Michi. Let's take this thing. Come on. Let's go. And we have our next skier to go. This is bib number six, Michelle Kirvin from the University of Utah. She hails from Stockholm, Sweden. It's a junior at the U. Caroline Jones of UVM in the third place spot right now. So it's Hoffman, Rask, and Jones. Utah, DU, UVM, respectively. Oh, and she goes down. Oh, now knowing the importance here, she again is hiking. And this is something you definitely don't see in World Cup. Scoring is different, so it's pretty amazing. And uh, I like to see that tenacity. So Michelle Kirvin, uh, not the run she wanted, but she's going to finish it. And bravo for Michelle from University of Utah. And uh, we will continue on uh, with the next athlete. Here, and this is bib number seven, Ali Resnick. Ali skiing for Dartmouth. Was a sophomore at Dartmouth and um, went to the Vale Mountain School. Dartmouth last won an NCAA title in 2007 when UNH was hosting the carnival. 
Allie in the class of 25 and her first trip to the NCAA championships. Give you the uh, time of Michelle Kirvin uh, of Utah. First run of 115.79. She stands in sixth place right now. Early going of the women's first run of slalom from the Olympic Mountain of Whiteface. Oh! Another tough fall, but uh, keeping her wits about her, Ali uh, is going to hike. And doing the best she can to uh, get up there. Tough right there for Resnick. You hate to see it, but it's part of the sport. Dartmouth qualified a, a full complement of uh, 12 skiers to this NCAA championship. It's checking on which gate she went out on, but she will get a finish. And across the finish line for Allie Resnick of Dartmouth. And we go now to the next athlete, number eight. This will be Evelina Fredrickson of Westminster College in Salt Lake City. And she is out of Stockholm, Sweden. Junior. Not a lot of skiing in uh, the Stockholm area. So uh, most of the Alpine, you have to go uh, some distance north. High speed trains uh, from uh, Stockholm to uh, Ostersund and Ori, for example. So, uh, Fredrickson now uh, coming down to the final gates and coming to the finish. All right, well, uh, uh, next skier comes from Plymouth State. And this will be uh, Hannah Larson Nothorst, number nine for uh, Plymouth State University with the head coach, Trevor Hamilton. So, uh, in the brief time there, uh, you've seen the Panthers uh, grow with uh, considerable success in alpine skiing. So group number nine is Hannah out of Stockholm. Three carnival wins on the season, one second, one third, six top five finishes, won the GS and slalom at uh, Harvard. But she's had quite a season for a first year student at Plymouth. EISA Rookie of the Year as well, adding to her Palmaris, which are indeed impressive. Go. Come on, Ma. I'm up. And uh, Hannah will be in the seventh place. And that uh, right now she would earn 25 points for Plymouth in this event. And now we continue on, and this is uh, Mua Flemingsen. She is from uh, Sweden. And her parents have made the trip over to uh, watch her race. 
for the UVM Ski Cats. 2.94 off that time of Madison Hoffman. And just to reiterate, that target time at uh, 55.61. And now Mua Clemenson is now uh, uh, over four seconds off the pace of uh, Matty Hoffman. And now Sophia Tozzi of Middlebury College. A freshman out of Jackson, Wyoming, skiing for the Panthers. Finished in the top 10 this year in three races. Highlight was runner-up in slalom at the Williams Carnival, which they hold at Jiminy Peak. As Middlebury making its 62nd appearance at the NCAAs, so one of the older and prestigious college programs. Right now, Tozy at 1.40 back. 55.61 of Matty Hoffman's time of Utah is very, very fast. Tozy now 2.60 off that time. Tozy 19, a freshman, down to the finish. 58.51 is her run time. That will put her in eighth place. And now, Christiane Beckstead from Montana State, bib number 12. Point nine nine back. Still early, a lot of skiers to come, but uh, will anybody be able to touch that time of uh, Matty Hoffman, the Australian skiing for the Utah Utes. So let's talk about women's slalom team scoring right now, which is remains unofficial. Um, and this is just for this women's slalom event, not team scoring. As uh, Bickstead comes to the finish, 1.68 back. UVM is on top with 82 points. DU second, 68. Utah is third with 60. Then it's Westminster, Montana State, and Plymouth State. That's the way the top teams are now. Helene Christophson for St. Michael's College out of Raling in Norway. Studying biochemistry. All-American second team in Giant Slalom a year ago. And this year was the GS point winner for EISA. 0.63 back for Christofferson. All right, uh, and now we see here 1.74 back at the second interval. Live NCAA championships from Whiteface Mountain. Day three of great, exciting, and dramatic championships as Helene Christofferson comes down to the finish from St. Michael's College. Ready, go. The next skier to come out of Montana State University is Justine Lamontine. And Helene Christofferson of St. Mike's goes into the ninth place spot. First run time, 58.04. Here is the Quebec skier for MSU from St. Feriel Le Neige in Quebec, near right next to the Mont Saint Anne Park and not far from uh, the beautiful town of Quebec City. She's a freshman skiing at Montana State. So this is her first trip to the NCAA championships. Starting to get a little peely up there. I see conditions starting to 
And it is the sun baking down here right now. And down to the finish line, just 1.38 back. So a solid run for Justine Le Montagne. And uh, Justine moves into fifth place. And right now that means 21, 29 points for MSU. Next is Sophia Yabero. Skiing for Middlebury College. This is her second NCAA championship. Was 28th in slalom at the last NCAA championships. And uh, this year uh, at a pair of uh, fifth places at uh, St. Mike's and Williams Carnival. Yobera now 2.85 back. And again, it's Justine LaMontagne that has moved into the second place spot. Uh, excuse me, not second. Uh, she's in fifth. Sophia Yabarro from Middlebury down to the finish. 3.24 back, a run time of 58.85. Still waiting for uh, her time to come up, but rest assured I will give it to you. And now, Ella Bromi. She is from uh, Sweden and skiing for the Seawolves of University of Alaska, Anchorage. And uh, uh, Sophia Yabaro is in 12th place now. It is UVM leading the women's point standings, DU in second, Utah third. Bromi from Sweden. And skiing out of Anchorage. Ingemar Stenmark, her favorite skier of all time. And uh, here she is at point eight three, An excellent run for Ella. And that is so good it moves her into fifth place for uaa which is now sitting in sixth overall uh, with those 29 points that ella garnered here is zoe michael from the university of new hampshire and she hails also from sydney australia she's a sophomore So, her split has her 1.04 back. We'll have another one coming up for this sophomore who was an All-American in 2022 and has been on the Australian national team. Now, uh, here is Zoe Michael. 2.33 back. That was the last split and arriving at the finish. So Zoe Michael was bib number 17. This is 18 coming up. Ready? Come on, Ansley. All the way now. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. And uh, this is Ainsley Prophet in the women's slalom of UAA. They had a great run. Good for fifth place for Ella Broma. So this will help them in points. So Michael in 12th for UNH coming in. Prophet split 1.33 back. This year born in St. Louis. Missouri represented uh, Team USA at the World University Games this year held in Lake Placid uh, on the U.S. ski team 
uh, from uh, 2017 to 2020, first in the Denver GS invite this season, and make it a fourth in Alaska for slalom this year. 2.79 back for profit. And now 2.64 back from our leader Hoffman. 58.25 will be the time. Profit now moves into the 12th place spot and uh, earning at the moment 19 points for her team. A UAA now uh, sitting virtually in the fifth spot as we look at uh, the next gear. And this is Hedda Natalia from UNH. Very number 19. One zero four back. Racing for UNH. Uppsala, Sweden. And now 1.80 back. All right. And uh, what are the difficult uh, points in the course? Right here, right towards the finish, as Hedda moves in. 291 back. 5852 is her time into the Andrew Weibrecht finishing area. And so, uh, since we arrived here about uh, 8 o'clock this morning, uh, the temperature at 14 degrees Fahrenheit is now 28. So it is uh, warming up, my friends. Here is the, the next gear to go will be Emma Hummergard from the University of Colorado. Edda into the 15th place spot. Emma Hummergard back 0.65. UVM leading the women's slalom point totals right now with 71 points. At 68 points is DU. Utah Utes, the defending champion in third at 53 points back. Montana State, fourth, 49. UAA rounds out the top five with 48. So they are very close with UAA and uh, Emma Hamagard from the Colorado Golden Buffs to the finish line. Bib number 20. Here we go, Coco. Come on. Up, 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 up. And now Alexandra Cosette will be our next gear for Middlebury. He hails from Montreal. Went to uh, GMVS. One oh, one point zero nine back. One point zero nine out of first. Middlebury College uh, as a team runner up to the championship title in 1961 and two uh, third places coming in uh, 1955 and 1956. May have been others as well as Cosette. The Middlebury skier comes down 2.65 back. She is in 14th for Middlebury, 17. Team points as Middlebury moves up to the sixth place spot in our virtual standings. Caitlin Harsh for the University of uh, Colorado. Is next on the course and now just point eight seven off the pace. Alexander Cassette, as noted, 14th place for Middlebury. Hummergard of CU picks up 19 points. And they should have one if all goes well on this run for Caitlin.
And so Caitlin from Vail, Colorado for the Buffs. Brad student there coming to the finish line. And we have our next gear from Gwen Wanabaker from Dartmouth. Gwen out of Olympic Valley, California, skied for Sugar Bowl Academy. Was ninth in slalom at Utah's event last year in the NCAA is now off by point uh, one point six one. Caitlin Harsh of CU. Oh, and problems there for Watermaker. Uh, that's tough. Caitlin Harsh of CU going into the 18th place spot. That'll pick up 13 team points in the women's slalom. But uh He's had a pretty strong season winning the GS at St. Mike's, fourth in the slalom at UVM. But uh, back now over 12 seconds for her as she comes down to the finish. 24 is on court. And uh, now we will look at Denise uh, Dingsleder from Westminster College. He is from Austria, from uh, Pitstall in Tirol. Two All-American titles for Westminster College, or hers. The uh, Slalom RMISA champion in 2022. and. Uh, Eat at the World University Games, which were in Russia in the 2020 season, with a gold and two silvers. Denise now 1.83 back for the Austrian. Madison Hoffman, an incredible skier from the University of Utah Utes, is up on top with an extraordinary run. Denise back 2.09. And that is going to rank her in 10th. And she will pick up 21 points. Ready? Now, uh, Mia Hunt. Did they our next gear to go for the Pioneers of Denver? Mia hails from Park City. He is a freshman for the Pioneers. Oh, the top three again, uh, Maddie Hoffman of Utah, Sarah Rask of Denver, Caroline Jones of UVM is third at the moment. And we see the split here, 1.15. And now through that second split, she has dropped some more time back to 258 for Denver. Such a prestigious uh, ski program. And uh, Mia Hunt across 58.59. She's just under three seconds back. Ready? Go. Mia will be in the 20th spot unofficially right now. And here is uh, our next skier from uh, Plymouth State in Plymouth, New Hampshire, Kendra Bergstrom. Kendra, like her teammate Hannah, is from Stockholm. Ranked eighth in GS and 25th in slalom this year in the ISA. First uh, championship appearance and her first year at uh, Plymouth State for the Panthers. Now 2.17 back. And 
And uh, Tindra down to the finish, uh, 3.04 back. Go. See how uh, good uh, that run was for her. This is University of Colorado's Alina Exenberger. And she is from the beautiful Alpine town of Mittersill in Austria. For the Buffs, she's a sophomore. She has been a member of the Austrian national team and for quite a few years, 2018 through 2021. That split is 1.12 back. And now 2.72 as we get that second split on Alina Exenberger. Austrian native skiing for University of Colorado Boulder. 2.72 back as she comes down to the finish line. 2.94 back. And uh, 58, 55, the unofficial time for her. We're on to our next skier in Ella Spear out of Holby College in Maine. Alina Exenberger, the skier you just saw from Colorado, that's now in the 19th place unofficially. 12 team points she garners her team. CU sitting in the 8th place spot in women's slalom team scoring unofficially. Ella Spear of Colby, 1.67 back now. And now 3.32 back. Well, Ella Spears, head coach, has got to be proud of this one. She is carrying her speed nicely down into the final few gates for Colby. As the continual warming certainly affecting the snow from when we first arrived. Spear, 59.20. Uh, back 3.59. Go, girl, come on. And this is bib number 30. Anna Sedring, being for Westminster College in Salt Lake City. Ella Spear from Colby into 24th place, generating seven team points for Colby. Westminster College now sitting in a tie for fourth in the women's slalom with UAA. Both of them have 46 points. Anna Sedring from Arstua in Norway. A junior at Westminster College, been a world junior champion in Super G going back to the 2019 season and an All-American in 2021. So uh, just excellent credentials here, although she trails by 2.64. But uh, the course getting more challenging as we go along, just doing to the warming effects. On a Sothering down to the finish, 3.05 back, 58.66 is her unofficial time for run number one. Now we go to bib number uh, 31, Lydia Rydal, out of faced in Vermont. She skis for Colby College, and uh, her grandparents, the great Al and Jane Hobart, who uh, were... First opened the uh, GMVS Academy and had a great traditions back in their home back in January of 1973. So I hope they're watching. Definitely legends in the sport. And Lydia, the sophomore for Colby College, is just 1.18 back. She's having a good run. Very smooth here. And just steadiness may be a big part of uh, a finish there. Now back 3.17 as Lydia comes to the finish line for Colby. And she's in 26th place with a runtime of 59.48. So she earns Colby five points. 
and they sit in uh, 12th place now in women's slalom standings. Ashley Alexander from UAA. They are in fifth place in women's slalom standings. So they're looking for a nice run from Ashley Alexander, who grew up in Cochrane, Alberta, Canada. She's a sophomore. Her split 1.01 back. She had a sixth and ninth at the University of Colorado Invitational this year. And now, uh, just a little over three seconds back for Ashley Alexander for the Sea Wolves. Let's see how she goes through here. She's smooth through there. And now coming to that red finish line, 3.82 back, a run time of 59.43 for University of Alaska Anchorage's Ashley Alexander. Next to go from UNH, Lisa Olson. Lisa is a grad student coming also from Stockholm, studying business analytics, a 2019 All-American at the University of New Hampshire, Durham, New Hampshire, 2.44 back now for Lisa. And the ranking for Ashley Alexander, a 26. So that's five team points as UAA moves into the fourth place spot. Lisa Olson, University of New Hampshire. And to the finish, 5.76 back. And now at the finish, 7.89 back. So Lisa Olson will be in the 29th spot. She gets two points for her team. And now we have Katie Parker representing Utah out of Melbourne, Australia, a senior. She was an Olympian for Australia, third at the NCAAs last year in the giant slalom, which were hosted by Utah. And Utah, of course, is the defending champion. Looking very, very skillful through here. And really carrying her speed gate to gate. Not not slowing down at all. Going through that uh, tight flush there as she arrives at the finish. Uh, Kitty Parker of Utah, 308 uh, back for her. So that brings us to the end of our competition. The first run as Katie Parker has just come down from the University of Utah. They're getting the uh, placing for Katie just now, 24th place. That uh, gives the Utes another seven team points. And right now, let's take a look at the provisional results of the women's slalom right here with uh, Utah's uh, Maddie Hoffman sitting on top, Sarah Rask of DU second, Caroline Jones of UBM in third, Nora Brand, DU in fourth, Ella Bromi, UAA in fifth, uh, Justine LaMontagne from MSU in uh, sixth place, We'll do the top 10 for you. There's Fredrickson in seventh. Justine Clement, UVM in eighth. Christine Bergstedt of Montana State University rounding out the top 10. From Westminster is Denise Dingsliter in the 10th place spot. And you can see uh, some of your favorites uh, right there. So those are the women's standings.
Okay, so folks, uh, we will be back uh, at 12 noon for our second runs here today from the NCAA Ski Championships and the Andrew Weibrecht Race Arena. Slalom, day three, resumes at noon. This is Peter Graves. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you after this short break. And once again, everybody, welcome back to our live coverage from Wilmington, New York. That is the home of Whiteface Mountain on a sunny day here that started warm and the temperature is soaring here as we see a forerunner come uh, down the course right now here at the Olympic Mountain used in 1980, but uh, um, area with a tremendous amount of winter sport history. Quick look at the scoring just moments ago. Colorado up on top, 279.5 points. Utah second, 263. Denver third, uh, 230.5. Dartmouth fourth, uh, uh, 153.5. UAF 150 and six. Montana State with 138 points. So that's the way we are going uh, right now. And uh, we will see some just uh, epic skiing here in the second run. And so the men are up on top. Number you. I'm pointing it, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. First race, race bib 16, and he'll indicate. Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. Let's go, Phil. And skiers at the top for the final Alpine event of this 2023 championships. And uh, certainly a big surprise in the men was uh, Philippe Foricek, who had a tumble that took him uh, out, but uh, he did finish the run. But his run time was uh, one minute, eight seconds, 0. 0.89. Is scheduled to go first out of the gate here. And again, a big day for American ski racing. Michaela Schifrin winning her record, tying 86th World Cup win in Ori, Sweden. Meantime, many of the college athletes have been to Olympic Games, World Championships, World Juniors. Um, I and it's just... The field is very, very strong. Good? University of Utah hosted last year. They won the NCAA crown uh, three years in a row. And uh, they are third in all time NCAA titles. Uh, it's second at Denver University with 24, and Colorado has a 19. So, Theo up on top with 24. Here is the first athlete out of the gate in the second run, Philippe Koryatek. He is, uh, hails from the Czech Republic. And has been a national team skier. Grad student for the Buffs. Wide 
a slightly more open set than uh, this morning for the men as uh, Philippe comes across the finish line and he has finished the race. So uh, congratulations, Sim. We'll be dealing with total time as that seems uh, probably uh, most important uh, today. And the total time for Philippe is 204.22. Here is Gustav Rosberg of Vola. Uh, Gustav is from Hemstal in Norway, the uh, 2022 NCAA uh, champion uh, for the Utah Utes. Last year, a first team All American in GS and in slalom. And uh, speaking of Utah, as, oh, he has difficulty up there, but he's going to go around officials and one of our cameramen up there and finish up. Individually, uh, the Utah Utes have won 82 individual national titles in their career. So a bit of a blow right now uh, for Gustav. And it comes down to the finish. Gustav Fuller. And our next athlete to go, representing the University of New Hampshire, is uh, Peter uh, Niersnus. Out of Oslo, he's a junior, podiumed at uh, his home carnival at UNH. So it is Foritech of CU leading at the moment of 204.22 in total time. Vola of Utah is 210.35. So they are at the moment on top of our leaderboard. And now with the combined times, uh, Petter Nersness has a very, very big lead of a little over 11 seconds. Two UNH skiers back to back here as we're into the second run of the men's slalom. And uh, so he will obviously go into the lead with the combined time for the University of New Hampshire. And our next athlete wearing number 33 in this uh, flip 30 format is Mons Lungard, also from the University of New Hampshire. Six fists podiums, two fists victories. has uh, competed in a number of Europa Cups and uh, took part in the World University Games held here in Lake Placid where uh, raced on this hill. Okay, so now in the battle with Petter uh, Nersnes of UNH, his teammate Mons Langard is very close, 39 hundredths of a second behind him. So, uh, barring anything unforeseen, we could see two UNH skiers go to the top of our leaderboard. And Longard from UNH to the finish. So, an excellent job for him. He is into second place. His time was 154.58. Call it about one second unofficially behind the leader, who also hails from UNH. Here is uh, the Canadian Olympian and national team skier for Montana State University, Riley Seeger. Oh! And a brilliant recovery, though he definitely lost some time. And he was running in the lead, 3,300s into the lead for a Riley. 
who after this still has more races to go. He lost a bit of time there, just a, uh, about a half a second off the mark of uh, UNH's Peter Nielsen. That's Seeger made his World Cup debut at Solden, opening event of the season in 2019. First World Cup points were at Beaver Creek, 22nd in the downhill. It obviously tends to be uh, more of a speed skier in downhill and Super G, but he, he really handles the boards very well. Seeger 4900s off the pace now. For Montana State. Here is Ivor Cornelius Noss, University of Nevada, and Riley Seeger moves into second for Montana State. 153.99 his total time. Let's watch uh, Ivor come down, a sophomore at University of Nevada. 1.24 into the lead for Ivor Noss. And it's very clean here. Not much uh, snow getting kicked up. And so Ivor Noss uh, with a very good time and th that should put him into the lead by 1.60 seconds now and indeed it does right now that would garner uh, 40 points for his team and now gray flanagan out of st michael's college westburg vermont he is a freshman studying engineering So Nevada's Ivar Nuss into the lead. Petter Nersnitz, UNH second. Riley Seeger, Montana State third. Mona uh, Mons Langard of UNH is in fourth. Gray Flanagan now uh, off by just more than half a second. Oh boy. In a, in a challenging course set here. Flanagan now dropping back uh, all, a little over a second and a half now. But he will finish for St. Michael's College. It is time in a second. Uh, here is Cooper Cornelius. Skiing out of the University of Denver, out of Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Brings a minuscule uh, lead out of the uh, guardhouse, and now uh, 0.35 back. So uh, being in that deficit mode, but he's keeping it close. The second split will tell the story for Cooper Cornelius of the Pioneers. And, oh my goodness. And unfortunately it doesn't, I don't know if he's gonna keep going or not. We will have to see. And so he is skiing out. Come on, Brad. Let's go. Let's go, Brad. Come on. Up, 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 up. As at number, our next skier to go will be Bradshaw Underhill of Middlebury on his birthday. So it's Nas of Nevada. Nesnes, UNH, Riley Seeger, Montana State, Mons Lungard, UNH, Gray Flanagan is in fifth right now. Bradshaw now uh, about two-tenths of a second back off the leading time of Ivor Nuss.
And this is really a challenge, and it's putting him out. But uh, Bradshaw wants to get those points. And they can prove to be very pivotal in total team scoring. Celebrating his birthday today. Again, a very happy birthday. And down to the finish. He arrives. Number 18 is coming next. This will be Jack Bowers. Another opportunity for the Pioneers. Three tenths of a second lead from the uh, first run. Bradshaw Underhill, seventh place for Middlebury, 112-15. In the early going of uh, this men's slalom team scoring, UNH is up on top by 68 points. They've had a, some great point production. Bowers out of Aspen, Colorado, just coming off with a big World Cup there. Great town, lots of ski racing tradition, and of course a world championship back there in the 50s and off the leading time by 0.22 not much Jack Bowers to the finish it's gonna be a good scoring run for the Pioneers for that freshman Jack Bowers moves into second place so that's good for DU right now he would take a uh, move 37 points into DU's title. They're sitting in the third place spot right now. And Jack Bowers himself is in second overall. Here is Chauncey Morgan. He's for the Colby College team. Inside uh, the top 30 three times. He's a senior at Colby out of Hanover, New Hampshire area. Skiing for the Colby Mules. He is now 18 hundredths of a second into the lead. And now just point one off the leading mark. He fell the other day. He very much wants to finish. Job one for him, but he's putting in a very good run now. And uh, one point one zero back, but uh, for Chauncey Morgan, that's going to be a uh, a very solid run for him. Ready? Go. That puts him in third. So a great job for Chauncey. The uh, total time one fifty three point zero zero. So it's Ness, Powers, and Morgan in the top three right now, folks. As we look at Montreal, uh, Quebec skier, uh, Simon Fournier, skiing for the University of Denver. At a little more than a half a second lead from the start house. He's a senior. Been uh, awarded several times, first team All-American. He's a member of the Canadian national team. Fournier now... Uh, into the lead and he's building on the lead now 0.74 so a very good run for him putting it together all right no mistakes here this is very clean it should be enough to move into the number one spot and it looks like by about a half a second simon fournier of denver I'm waiting with bated breath here on my computer. Ready? Perhaps when I pause, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, we'll see and we'll confirm Simon Fournier's place just as quickly as we can. Here's the next athlete to go. This is Tommy Knosh out of St. Lawrence University. Two EISA uh, top tens. Is the season best was a seventh at Bates. 
Now, just 22 hundredths of a second back. And Fournier does indeed go into the lead for Denver. Combined time of 151.40. Jack Bauer sitting third for Denver. Denver goes atop our virtual scoring in the men's slalom competition. But a good run for Tommy. That's trailing by .69 off the mark. But he's gave a good recovery there. It takes a, a, a little bit of that rhythm out. He'll finish 1.82 back uh, behind the leaders. But that is fifth place for SLU and the Laurentians. And that's great. Combined time of 153.22 for Tommy. SLU hosting this event. They've done it many times over the years. So, Fournier is leading. DU is virtually leading the men's slalom event, UNH, in second. And we move on to the Swiss skier, Loic Chabel. Fourth in the World University Games, studying economics. And, of course, as we've watched their national team, uh, and particularly their men, um, coming back very strongly on World Cup. Point one one off the mark now for Chabelle. And a, a, certainly a French-sounding name, so he may live uh, in the, uh, the era of France... The Jura uh, Mountains that uh, could be in the French-speaking part of is a good run of Switzerland for Westminster State. This is going to be a very good run for Luke. Just uh, looking, he goes into second place. Combined time, 151.60. So a very solid job for them. Now uh, we'll turn our attention to St. Michael's College uh, Seaman Strand wearing number 13. He is from Barham in Norway, a junior. Has been an All-American. So as we watch him come down a tiny bit off the mark right now, it's Fournier in the lead, Chabelle in second, Ness, the University of Nevada, Jack Bowers, DU, John C. Morgan is in fifth place, at Colby, an excellent run for him. Second run of the men's slalom, if you just joined us, live from Whiteface Mountain in Lake Placid. Just over half a second back. And 1.22 back for Strand. That's going to put him right in uh, the money. Close by. Ready? Go. As our next athlete uh, ready to go, Isaac Hedstrom, number 19. Also from the University of New Hampshire, from the uh, great skiing and mountain bike town of Ori in Sweden. Uh, an hour north of Ostersund. Now, he quickly moves into the lead. Hedstrom, no, he's just down by 18, excuse me. He's keeping it very, very close. The freshman, University of New Hampshire. Tommy Kanosh for SLU in seventh place, we have him unofficially right now. 2300s off the mark is Hedstrom. University of New Hampshire coming down. They're third in men's points right now. He should help them out a bit with that as uh, Isaac Hedstrom, University of New Hampshire comes down. And now we look at number 10. This is uh, Cooper Puckett. Out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, on this beautiful day here. 2200s heat brings in to the race. So, 
scheme for the big green. Uh, JP Daniel. Now 26 hundreds into the lead for the skier who is teeth skiing for the Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club on Hollison Hill. Beautiful steamboat. Into the lead by point three nine. Goes Cooper. A great run. And this will be very helpful to Dartmouth. If he can move into the lead, and it looks like he has with one gate to go, and he's across. And Cooper Puckett now by seven hundredths of a second moves into the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, for the big green. Very uh, important. That will uh, move uh, Dartmouth considerably up. And the fourth ranked team. And now we look at Jeremy Legere from Westminster College. So Cooper Puckett confirmed he's into the lead. His time is 151.3. And Legere from France is a junior. And now by 1400s, Legere has now moved into the lead for Westminster College in Salt Lake City. Now he has dropped a bit of time, 104. One oh four back for Legere, and now across the finish line for the French collegiate skier. It's a Cooper Puckett up on top for the big green, and Jeremy Legere has just moved into second for Westminster, one fifty one point three seven, and Cooper's time one fifty one point three three. So we're talking about. Very narrow margins here on uh, the third day of our championships as Bjorn Brudvall is out on course. He is from the University of Utah, also hails from Oslo, was on the Norwegian national team studying finance at the U, in the lead right now. So three-time defending champion of University of Utah. We want all the points production that they can get. And now just 11 hundredths off uh, the pace. So uh, there he is, 0 .68, 68 hundredths out of the first place spot. And here we go with uh, the German athlete from Plymouth State University. This is Maximilian Hausmann wearing number 17. Bjorn Brittball of the U goes in to seventh place and I had mentioned that Jeremy Legere of uh, Westminster College is in second. It's still Cooper Puckett from the Big Green leading the way. Maximilian Hausmann uh, from Rottlingen in uh, Germany. Finished sixth in GS at the EISA Championships. And ranked 12th in slalom and the EISA uh, this year for Plymouth. And now uh, is in the lead by 0 0.42. But let's see, that's a very good, good race for him as he comes down to the bottom. Houseman of Plymouth. And unofficially, it looks to me, if he has a lead of 0.58, that he is going to take over the number one spot. We'll get confirmation of that as we look at the next gear getting ready to go. Eric Kvinno out of Oscar in Norway for St. Michael's College. Twenty-three hundredths of a second to lead from the uh, first run for the Norwegian skier. 
And confirmation, Max Hausman of Plymouth State University has gone into the lead. Combined time of 150.75. Moves Cooper Puckett down to second place. Jeremy Legere to third and Seaman Fournier to the fourth place spot. Now we'll focus in on the St. Michael skier. Coming down a sophomore. Studying a business. He's been on the all academic team of the NCAA. On the slopes of Whiteface, you're seeing it live. Here is the St. Mike skier and a chance to possibly go into the lead. If it does, no, it won't be enough. Very close going into those last final gates. But Eric uh, is in second. His total time, 150.98. Hausman, Gaveno, Puckett, Legere. And now we have Jacob Dilling on course for the University of Colorado Golden Buffs. And the great ski tree team tradition still being carried on. Look back and... Bob Beatty, Bill Marolt, Richard, and their current program. Been going great. Dilling is now .21 off, now .30 off. A little bit of trouble right down there. Just uh, kind of dragging a little bit. And, but he's hanging close, and that's the important thing. Sitting back there, jetting the skis out. But he's still on top of the boards. Here he comes, headed for the barn in the finish line. 0.73 off the pace. That is going to still score very well for the CU uh, skier. As Jacob goes into sixth place, a combined time of 151.48. And it's the Plymouth skier, the German Max Hausman, is leading the show right now. And now, already on course, Oliver, or Ollie, as I called him, Morgan, and uh, skiing off the course here for the Dartmouth skier out of Etna, New Hampshire. It was a 2002 All-American. It's a uh, Disappointed by that. He is a great uh, young man. But he'll be back to ski more for the big green. He's just a sophomore, I believe, there. So it's Hausman, Eric Givno, Cooper Puckett, Jeremy Legere, Simon Fournier, Jacob Dilling, Luke Chabelle are our top placing athletes as we go on to another Norwegian out of Oslo, skiing for Westminster College, uh, Mikael Solbakken. Solbakken, almost a half a second into the lead now. As that clock is ticking away and we are counting them down. The Ikic on deck for the Sea Wolves. Solbakken now uh, 0.31 into the lead of uh, Hausman, but let's see how we will fare. Does he take the lead here at the finish? And it looks like we are going to see a change in the lead. Indeed, we can confirm it. Solbakken of Westminster goes in the lead, a combined time of 150.43. Come on. Back this thing. All the way. Come on, Leon. And uh, now we have Leon Nikic of UAA, University of Alaska, Anchorage. He's a, a junior. Leon uh, is a native of Croatia. <laughs> now a uh, tenth of a second off the mark, but good skiing for this UAA skier. Leon Nikic with a one-tenth second advantage over the rest of the field right now. Can he maintain that lead? We'll find out moments from now he's extended it now to 
I think he was ninth in the GS. I, I, that that is uh, just what I recall. But um, you know, he's a great skier. And down to the finish, still with a, a little bit of a lead, but now in the last bit, he dropped to point two nine back. That's going to be a real run that counts, though, for Leon Nikic and UAA. <clears throat> Ready? And we are getting down there, folks, now to crunch time. Come on, let's go, let's go. And uh, now the next gear to go will be from uh, Colorado. And this is uh, Louis Gustav Hauser. Where's number 12? Oslo, Norway. He's a junior, finance and accounting. Two uh, times on uh, the Rocky Mountain Intercollegiate Ski Association podium. He's dropped some time now, trailing by .48 as he comes towards the midway section of the course here at Whiteface. Nikic incidentally moves into second for UAA. Combined time of 150.72. That's going to help them a bunch. It's uh, Fausa on course now. And it is warm. The temperature has steadily risen throughout the day. Last time I checked, it was about 40 degrees. So Louis Gustav Fausa has reached the finish line for the University of Colorado. Here is the next uh, athlete from Vermont. This will be Cole Paulchuk. Come on, up, up! A Fauza of CU is in 12th place now. We're just getting that to unofficially. Cole out of Bakersfield, Vermont. Did a lot of his formative uh, year skiing, I guess, at uh, Smugs. And Cole skied to a, a third here at Whiteface at uh, a carnival here. Lawrence Carnival, he's got a good lead, he's a smooth skier, and he's been able to keep that rhythm. He's not losing time between gates. Point three two back now. Okay, this is gonna be very solid for the Ski Cats. Paul Palchik. To the finish line, across, and he crosses the line and then nails it. Uh, good job. But that shows actually also how much speed Cole was carrying there. And uh, we wait with bated breath to see his time coming up for University of Vermont. And right now, it, uh, it looks like Cole will be into seventh place. So a, uh, a very good run. Here's a, a young man, a freshman for Dartmouth's Big Green out of Oslo, Norway. And uh, his name is Oscar Zimmer. Point three four in to the lead. And point three four in the lead right now for Zimmer. And it would be a great one to have him amongst the top three for the big green and get them a bunch of points. Now uh, off the mark by eight hundredths of a second. That could still put him in second or third place. Let's see how he does on the bottom here. He's across and off by point two five. Uh, but Zimmer that is good enough to put him in a second place for Dartmouth. A combined time of 150.68. Oh, now Dartmouth virtually sits in second place in the men's slalom team totals. And we have just a few left. This skier from Montana State, Henry Hayden, out of Sydney, Australia. It's been a national team skier. And right now, a lead of over half a second.
MSU. Currently with uh, 10 points in the men's slalom right now. They would be relying on Henry. Put a sweet one down here in the second run. Beautiful through that hairpin. And now the shot to the finish line. He may be in the lead. He may have done enough to take it. Let's see. Down to the finish he goes. And he lost a bit of time from the tenth of a second lead he had. But nonetheless, that is great skiing for Henry Hayden of Montana. And now a Joachim Yaga Alinstall. And now the time comes in for Hayden. He is in sixth place. Total time of 151.11. Mikkel Solbakken is our leader now. As you look at a Joachim Jakel install out of the Hemming Sport Club in the University of Vermont, he's a senior, the 2020 Rookie of the Year. Fourth in the Giant Slalom here, just a superb skier. And we still have his uh, teammate Tefra to come. 88 hundreds into the lead right now for Joachim Jagelinstall. University of Vermont. Two more chances uh, for them with Linstall and Tefra. Still in the lead by .88. And down to the finish. And now a .05 lead. But that may be enough to put... Uh, Linstall into the lead. All right. And so uh, it looks like we may have a new leader. Waiting for confirmation there. Meantime, in the second run of the men's slalom, Gianluca Bohm from beautiful St. Moritz in Switzerland. He is uh, a freshman. Studying construction engineering. All right, and uh, it is Linstall that moves into the lead for UVM. Solbach in second, Zimmer in third for Dartmouth. John Luca Baum is on course. Half a second off the mark. And then we will be down to two skiers left. So about a half a second off the lead as uh, Gianluca Blum comes to the finish line. Now 0.38 back. And there is... Matthias Tepra of the University Come on, of Matthias, jump out. And he is very strong. Joachim Lindstall, UVM in the lead. Solbach in second. Oscar Zimmer Dartmouth in third. Nekic UAA in fourth. Here comes a Tefra. He's just had a great career for the Cats from Rostadt in Norway. Won the slalom for EISA this year and was third in giant slalom. And at the moment, uh, Matthias carrying a half a second and change lead here as we get down to the second to last gear today. Anything could happen. And Tefra has the lead here by almost a half a second. And looking very, very good. He's still got a lead as he comes to the finish line. And he picked up time down at the bottom. And he moves into the lead. Wow. A great, great job for Matias. And now we are done to the final athlete. And this is Wilhelm Norma Seth.
Matias Tefra, UVM, goes into the lead, 149.32. UVM now holds first and second place. And now for the Utes, the defending NCAA champion, Wilhelm Normaset. Out of Oslo, Norway, a junior. And there is pressure on him. Point two two into the lead. Let's see if those splits keep going in the right direction. It looks very good there. All right, 22 hundreds in the lead is Norman set. And now dropped back to seven hundredths of a second behind. These margins are almost incalculable to believe. Norman set, will he be on the podium for Utah? Will it be 40 points or 37 points for his team? As Norman set comes down uh, to the finish line and uh, look like a, uh, a fine run for him. Where will it place him? We'll have it in a second here for you. Matthias Tefra, UVM, was the leader. Joachim Lindstall of UVM in second place. And Norma said of Utah goes into second. So he breaks up the juggernaut of the UVM Ski Cats into second place. A combined time of 150.11. Great racing. So, virtual men's slalom team scoring. UVM on top with 92. As you also look at the men's slalom, I'll let you uh, pick that out from the screen. I'll give you the men's slalom team scoring. UVM on top, second, Westminster College, third, Dartmouth. And uh, they're tied with MSU at 49 points. Utah fifth now, 48 back. St. Michael's sixth, 35 back. Colorado, 30 points back in seventh. UAA, 27 points. DU, 26 points. And Plymouth, 10 points. And you see the leaders with uh, an inspired Wilhelm Normaset that comes down and breaks into the top three for a silver medal for the men today. Very exciting, spirited championship. Oh, it looks like uh, Utah has moved into the lead with uh, 311 points. I believe Colorado is second at 309.5. So that is the team scoring. And before we turn to the cross country, we've got to get by this next women's event. All right, we have a few minutes before we start the women. What do you say we take a break? We're live from Lake Placid. I'm Pete Graves. See you in a couple of minutes. Hello, welcome back, ski friends. Uh, it's Peter Graves with you at Whiteface Mountain in Lake Placid, New York, the third day of the NCAA skiing championships. It's been a wonderful uh, championships thus far, and we have uh, the women on their second run of slalom that were serving up on our skiing smorgasbord. Look at number six right there, Ashley Alexander. Oh, Kerbin. From Utah. Of course, are the defending champions, and Michelle will be first out of the start house. And I'm told that the next year's NCAA will be hosted by the University of Colorado. 
Huh? Oh, yes, sorry. Three tour runners. You got them all. You got all the Lightful tournament. championships. Uh, <laughs> Det är lite mer tempo hela banan va? Jag gick här också nu vem du vet. Det går alltså. En fitta. Fitta på bäckan. Michelle Kerbin. We have such a nice shot of her. Is from uh, Stockholm in Sweden. In here. For the youths. One minute. Michelle Kirvin looks like she is set to go. Almost. Hold on. <laughs> Strong outside arm. From and upload now. Just about to kick off the second and final Alpine event. High fives for the coaches. And she steps into the starting gate. Go. Come on, Missy. Come on, Missy. Let's go. And we're underway with the second, and this will be the final Alpine event of these championships. From the University of Utah, Michelle Kirvin. Here at the U. will be followed by Gwyn Wattenmaker from Dartmouth. Olsen from the University of New Hampshire. Bell will be the pace center here in this second run. Favorite athlete of all time is a hockey fan as well. Cheers for the LA Kings from the NHL. Here comes the Sweden now down the pitch. Reapers drop. Super concentrated right here. And skiing very well here. And coming down to the finish, and there's the combined time for her. She will uh, move in. Ready? Obviously, to the uh, number one uh, spot at the moment. And now we have Gwyn Wantmaker from Dartmouth College. Olympic Valley in California. Uh, out of the Sugar Bowl Academy. So Kerbin in the lead with a combined time of 209.31. Now the second skeeter comes down. And this is the second run. An enormous lead, uh, 5.7 seconds. And to the finish, uh, Gwen Wattmaker of Dartmouth will clearly move into a first place. Ready? And this is Lisa Olson from University of New Hampshire, also a Stockholm grad student there. Loves to ski at Waterville Valley. When Wanamaker up on top, the combined time of 204.80. Leading skier from University of New Hampshire makes her way down the course. Lisa Olson. Arms and drapers drop. She comes now. First two hairpins you'll find on drapers drop. 5.97 seconds in the lead. Here she comes now, Lisa Olson. 
And here comes Lisa across the finish line for UNH. Here is uh, Mua Clemenson from the University of Vermont. Has a lead of 3.67. Mua Clemenson, uh, three podiums this season. On uh, the Bates slalom at Sunday River. And it is Lisa Olson of UNH that moves into the lead with 200.89. And still a big advantage, 4.15 seconds. As Mua Clemenson of UVM uh, takes it down to the finish line with an excellent run. And that will uh, put her into the number one spot right now as we get ready to bring down Lydia Riddell. Clemenson's combined time under Two minutes is 155.95 for UVM. Lydia out of Colby College. Vermont native from Bayston. Being at Mad River Glen. Lydia 1.24 back. Stella Bill, oh, that was problematic, but she she hung on and to the finish line, 1.62 into uh, the gap for her. As uh, we could be seeing a lead change right here at the NCAA Skiing Championships, and we do as Lydia moves into first. And her time, 154.33. The new leader with Colby's Lydia Riddell. And now Ashley Alexander out of Cochrane, Alberta, Canada, a sophomore at University of Alaska Anchorage. Lydia in the lead, Moa Clemenson second, Lisa Olson third. When, when Wanamaker of Dartmouth is in fourth. All right, it gets steep right in here. Just a little under half a second back now. Sixth and ninth among her best performances of the year at the CU invite. And to the finish, Ashley Alexander. Looking like another a fine run for her as we look at the next athlete who is Ella Spear and Ella skis for Colby she's a senior went to Stratton Mountain School as well as CVA 21 years old from Booth Bay in Maine And right now, Ashley Alexander of UAA has gone into the lead, 153.68. Lydia Riddell, second place. Moa Clemenson, third. And Lisa Olson is in fourth. Second run of the women's slalom. And right now, trailing by just a half a second. And, oh, she goes down. And she, from that point, she probably can hike up that gate. Was around that gate wasn't so very far away where she went out. But uh, 
disappointing for her because she was quite close, was having a very good run. Now she's at the bottom for Ella Spear. Let's go, you. Come on. Come on. Out of holding. Sophia Yubero is coming next. She skis uh, for Middlebury uh, and uh, is out of Ogden, Utah. She's a senior at Middlebury. And a really consistent uh, year this year. Six top ten finishes in carnivals. Second at the NCAA qualifier. And with an advantage of point three three. No very skier hats. Now in the lead by point two five. But she will uh, finish strongly down here. Sophia Yabero of Middlebury. And that's enough to put Sophia into the lead for Middlebury Come on, Katie. with a combined time of 153.37. So excellent job for her as we go to Katie Parker. Out of Melbourne, Australia, being for the University of Utah, senior. First team NCAA All-American, All-American in giant slalom. And was on the Australian Olympic team in Beijing and uh, also trained in the United States out of uh, Sugar Bowl Academy for some time. So Catherine Parker, point three six back for University of Utah out of Melbourne. It is Sophia Yabaro of Middlebury in the lead. Ashley Alexander of UAA is in the second place spot Catherine Parker just a, a little bit more than half a second off the pace for her and she comes down to the finish point eight eight back but for Catherine it will be a good run ready Catherine was third at the NCAA giant slalom last year at Utah Anna Sethering from Westminster College is next to go, a junior. Was an All-American in 2021, gold junior champion in Super G, likes the speed in 2019. Navarro in the lead, Ashley Alexander second, Katie Parker in third, and Sethering of Westminster It's just off the mark. And she's uh, trying to horse it here, Hannah Southering. And to the finish with an advantage of 0.26 for Hannah Southering. Ready? And she moves into the lead, 153.11. That moves everybody else down in position as Tindra Bergstunt of uh, Plymouth State, who is ranked 25th in ESA in slalom. That's her first... Uh, Championship appearance for the woman from Stockholm. It's Utah leading the women's standings right now with 52 points. Colby in second with just 51. But the State University skier has dropped a bit of time here. Two tenths of a second back. But ski very, very solidly here as she makes it to the finish line. Kendra Bergstrom of Plymouth State University. Down to the finish. How she fares. 
our next skier ready to go. This is Mia Hunt out of Park City, Utah. And the DU Pioneers. So, uh, right now, uh, Kendra Bergstead of uh, Plymouth State, they have her in fourth place unofficially. And Mia Hunt here, a freshman. For the Denver Pioneers. Into the lead by 0.32. You can see how quickly those uh, margins can disappear with one very small, sometimes innocuous mistake. A lot of this is about rhythm. And she is building time here, 0.47 into the lead. And down at the finish, she is 0.21. So, let's see if that will be enough to put Mia Hunt on, of the University of Denver into the lead. Caitlin Harsh is on course now. Mia Hunt for Denver goes into the lead. The combined time, 152.90. And on her way down, out of the University of Colorado. Number 22, on course. Point 0.34 uh, behind our leader now, Mia Hunt of Denver. It's another Colorado skier, but from another team. This is University of Colorado here. Caitlin Harsh. Down the wire, here she comes. Coming down to the finish, 0.79 uh, off the tempo right now with Mia Hunt of DU leading the pack. 152.90. Come on, go! We'll go to the next gear into the gate. Also from the University of Colorado, Alina Exenberger of still in Austria. And Caitlin Harsh of CU will be sitting in the fifth place spot now. And she will be the number one CU skier amongst the top five. Well, let's see if Elena Exenberger from Bittersill, Austria, and the University of Colorado can do it. Is a sophomore. About four years, she was a member of the Austrian national team. Girls by just a little over a half a second right now. And to the finish line, Exenberger comes from the University of Colorado. Ready? Let's go, Hedda! May not be enough to move into the lead, but it was a good run. From the University of New Hampshire comes our next gear. This is Hedda Bartulia. Exenberger in fourth for Colorado. Harsh in uh, sixth for CU. They have now two in the top six. Just uh, 0.12 seconds uh, off the pace. And to the finish, 153.64 is going to be the combined time for Hedda. Come on, Todd. Let's go. Come on, Todd. Up, 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 up. Here is Sophia Tozzi from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and Middlebury College, a freshman. 
He had a podium finish at the Williams Carnival. That was the second place. He at the World University Games and is a member of the national, the U.S. national development team. Right now, 23 hundreds off the pace for Sophia Tuzzi. And Edda from UNH sitting in the fifth place spot now in the unofficial virtual scoring of the women's slalom team. Cops see you up on top over UNH, DU, and then Colby and Utah are tied together. And the Middlebury skier down 1.7 uh, off the pace. Sophia Tosi. And our next gear to go will be Zoe Michael. Sophia, with that run, good enough for ninth place in a combined time of 154.17 for the Middlebury skier. As they march up, and right now in women's slalom team scoring unofficially, they are in a tie for first with University of Colorado, both with the 56 points. No underway here. 16 hundredths of a second lead for this gear out of Sydney, Australia. Not lost that lead. The sophomore, All American for UNH in 2022, and has been a member of the Australian national team. And this is a, quite a good run for her. And down to the finish. So, Michael. Let's go, Coco. Come on, Coco. That is going to put her in sixth place. Uh, 153.65 is that total time. UNH now takes our virtual lead in women's slalom with 73 points on the board for them. Alexandra Cassette from Montreal, Quebec. Junior at Middlebury, studying economics and computer science. Point four one, almost a half a second into the lead right now for Alexandra. And still holding down the lead. Here comes Cosette. Oh, she is clean uh, here. And that is a very good and stylish run for Alexandra Cassette from Montreal and Middlebury College. And good enough that it will be putting her into second place. Uh, her time, 153.05. Uh, Mia Hunt, our leader, 152.90. So all of a sudden, now Middlebury goes to the top of our virtual women's slalom board. And now on course is Ainsley Profit, originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now out of the University of Alaska, Anchorage. On the U.S. ski team from 2017 to 2020. Had a first place finish in Giant Slalom at the Denver Invite this year, represented Team USA at the World Juniors this season. From 2017 to 2020, represented her mom, I think, is in the crowd, and she said, uh, thank you, Mom, for always supporting me throughout my ski career. Ainsley now, 0.73 back, and the legs get tired at the end of two runs, and she is 2.03 back to profit. And we have Emma Hummergart from CU on course now. And uh, 3,700 into the lead. Ainsley Prophet of UAA uh, is now ranked 14 with a combined time of 154.93. And Emma Hummergart. University of Colorado. 
out of Yavluk in Sweden. She's a senior. He had a podium in giant slalom here at the Grove University Games held here in January. Her favorite skier, Sarah Hector. One of the outstanding for Sweden. Um, that's a pretty big lead, 0.76 right now for Emma Hummergaard from uh, University of Colorado. And that is, I believe, going to put her into the lead right now. Moving Mia Hunt down and everybody else. Emma Hummergaard, 152.14 and the new leader. Helene Christofferson is next out of Reilingen in Norway, a sophomore being for St. Michael's College in Vermont. All-American second team in Giants Slalom last season. But uh, this year on the EISA, she was the uh, GS points winner. Four out of six podiums in GS. And 0.27 back. View of the finish line. Emma Hammergaard of Colorado puts her team into second place with 88 points in this women's event. Middlebury second with 82, UNH third, UAA fourth, and Denver fifth as Helene Christofferson to the finish line. He will be in sixth place with a time of 153.40. And so the next skier to go will be wearing number nine. This is Hannah Larson. Now, of course, is from Stockholm in Sweden. She is a freshman studying psychology. Was the EISA Rookie of the Year. Her favorite skier is Laura Gutkorami. And her parents are here watching. They made the trip from Sweden. Point two eight back. Larson hanging on to this run about 2500s back right now but you would have to call that a, a, a solid run at the very least for Hannah Larson And the next gear on course, and uh, she is a, a real talent, is Denise Dingsleder. Is from uh, uh, Westminster State College in Salt Lake and hails from uh, the uh, Pitstall area of Tirol in Austria, which is a nice area above Antwerp. Denise. Uh, uh, time All-American titles last year at the NCAAs at Utah. He to one gold and two silvers at university games that were held in Russia in Siberia back in 2020. Things that are right now a point two six off the mark of Emma Hammersgard of Colorado. Uh, Denise coming down here. Oh, she will fare uh, with that run. We get ready to present to you uh, the next athlete, uh, Christiane Beckstead from Montana State University. As Denise mixes up things a little bit with a second place for Westminster. So, Hamagard, see you. Denise Denzeler of West uh, Westminster, and then Hannah Larson Northwest of Plymouth State University. Moving our a leader for quite a long time, Mia Hunt of Denver to fourth. And now we watch the run of Bechtestet from all in Norway. She's a junior. They have some very good cross-country skiers as well. 
carrying his speed nicely. Getting a little crazy here in the second. Though into the lead by almost a second, 0.86 into the lead as uh, Christian Vekistet of Montana State University lays down a beautiful run. And she goes into the lead with a total time of 151.5. One, Come on, a superb up. run. And now we go to Justine Clement of uh, UVM. Six hundredths of a second into the lead right now. But that time of Beckerstead, 151.51 is very, very good. Point eight two off the pace now, so dropping uh, some time here. And here she comes down to the finish, Justine Clement. Oh, a very good run for her. Ready? Go. Come here, Eva. They're going to have our next skier starting out here. And this is Evelina Fredrickson from Westminster College, Salt Lake. Evelina Fredrickson goes into eight. Uh, pardon me. Um, oh, stand by. Beaumont UVM is now in third. And 152.44 is her ranking. And now Evelina Fredrickson. Fredrickson out of Westminster College. Carried some pretty good speed here. She has not dropped a lot of time indeed. So Fredrickson from Stockholm with a nice run. It is Christiane uh, Beckenstead of MSU in first. Emma Hummergaard of CU in second. Justine Clement, UVM in third. And Denise Denzelier of Westminster just moving in to eighth place because Clement moves into fourth now. And now we have Justin Lamontagne. Justine Lamontagne. Being for Montana State University, Imperial Lineage in Quebec, near Mount Saint Anne. Freshman. This is her first trip to the NCAA's. Favorite place on earth to ski. One of the questions we asked people first was Porcheval, France. And to the finish, Justine LaMontagne from Montana State University, out of Quebec. Our next skier from UAA. Ready? Justine now moved into second place with that run, so an excellent performance here. And at the moment, Montana State has one and two with Beckerstead and LaMontagne. And uh, here we have our next gear coming your way from UAA. This is Ella Bromi. She is from Ostanska in Sweden. A freshman. And uh, over half a second advantage for her. Two from Montana State. Then Westminster. Emma Hummergaard, CU. Justine Clement, UVM. Fifth, 
Dink's leader of Westminster in six, and Anna Larson. Seven. So she, uh, this woman, Ella Bromey, has been has picked up on her lead. She's added time to it. She's increasing as she's come down to the bottom, and that will be the run that will take the lead without a doubt. The UAA and the Sea Wolves. Ellen Bromey. Ready? Come on, go. Let's go. We are down to the last four, my friends. Ellen Bromey goes into the lead. That's confirmed 150 75. Nora Brand out of the University of Denver from Munich in Germany, a junior. And so let's see how she can do. DU right now in our virtual women's Alpine point standings for Slalom is sitting in ninth place. So uh, certainly hoping for a uh, uh, production of points uh, for DU and the Pioneers. Point two seven back in the middle of the pitch. Final combination. And again, this is a very solid and complete run, technically. And Brand built up time as she went down there to the bottom. And uh, that is, uh, I think, likely to put her into the lead. It does. Combined time of 150.34 for Denver. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. Come on. Down to uh, the last view here. Here is Caroline Jones, UVM. The last uh, chance for the Cats. Instead of Vail, Colorado, went to Vail Ski and Snowboard. Uh, at the EISA leader bib in slalom. 0.65 advantage now. She's building time. She's improving as she goes down this course. Fastest skier after the first run. And Jones having a And she knows it's got to be virtually mistake free to go into the lead. 34 hundreds into the lead now for Caroline Jones of UVM. And that's heartbreak right there for the catamount. Oh no. As she exits the course, tough break there for Carolyn Jones of the University. Oh, that was a tough one. She'll record as she skis off course. Tough break for the Catamounts right there. Carolyn Jones. And yeah, she will come down, but uh, that that is a tough one. Well, we're getting down to the bottom, my friends. Just two skiers to go. This was the second best skier in the first run. Sarah Rask out of the University of Denver. DU sitting in third in our virtual women's slalom team scoring now. But they would be helped by a great run from Sarah Rask, who hails from Stockholm, Sweden, a freshman, a junior world champion in 2020. Junior world's always the gateway to the World Cup. And she was Swedish national GS champion in 2019. Now in the lead by 14 hundredths for this DU skier. Nora Brand is leading the way from DU. Her to combined time to beat is 150.34. Rafts coming down to the finish. And off by the slightest of margins, but it may be enough to put DU in first and second. Deep breath. And now the winner of the first run. And the winner of the giant slalom, Ready? Maddie Hoffman it, from the Go University it. of right. Utah. Go Rask on. goes into second place. DU has a hold on the two top spots. And here comes the Ute skier who qualified for the Olympic Games. She's been a, a, a Norway, a, a Australian national team member, and she carries a 66 hundredths of a second advantage. The final skier down the course. It's very, very calm. I spoke to her this morning. There was a lot of laughter in the air. She felt very confident. And now 
She's built up that lead, so all the numbers going in the right direction. All the lights are green. 1.23. She's into the lead now for Maddie Hoffman of Utah. Just sitting back a little. That may cost her a hundredth of a second. And let's see, but she should have it here. And she comes down to the finish line still with a heck of a lead. Maddie Hoffman, University of Utah, and I believe she's done it. Yes, and to uh, win two titles here, amazing. Wow, Madison Hoffman, who came in here, boy, was she ready. And uh, takes that uh, point total for Utah. First place, total time, 149.37. The only skier under 150. So, a tremendous job. What what can you say? And there are the standings right there. And and you look, not only Utah wins, but DU collects a lot of points in in a second and third. Here, uh, Ella Bromey of UAA, solid in fourth. Christine. Beckestead of MSU, followed by her teammate, Justine. Uh, so that's good for them. Emma Humbergard of CU, Justine Clement of UVM, Denise Dingsletter of Westminster College is in the 10th place spot. What a day and some terrific racing. But Madison Hoffman, once again today, she was Golden. All right. Well, uh, we'll uh, break away. We have the awards coming up, folks. I hope you can stick around. Joining Gianluca on the podium, your seventh place finisher from Plymouth State University, Maximilian Hausman. In sixth place today, in the men's slalom from the University of Alaska, Anchorage. Leon Nikic! Can you just back up like a foot, please? In fifth place, came for the mighty green of Dartmouth, Oscar Zimmer! Good. Yeah, thank you. In 
fourth place today from Westminster College, Mikkel Solbakken. And now it's time to recognize your podium performers, the top three. In third place today from the University of Vermont, Joachim Yaga Linsko. In second place from the University of Utah, Wilhelm Nolenset. And the champion of the men's slalom, representing the University of Vermont, Matthias Tesfaye. Ladies and gentlemen, your men's slalom is the main champions. Nice job. One, two, three. Congratulations to the men's champions. Now it's time to recognize and celebrate your top competitors in the women's slalom event here at the NCAA Steam Championship. In eighth place, from the University of Colorado Boulder, Emma Hammergaard. In seventh place, joining us from Westminster College, Evelina Friedrichsen. In sixth place, joining us from Montana State University, Justine Lamontagne. In fifth place from Montana State University, joining her teammate on the podium, congratulations to fifth place finisher, Christine Beckerstein. In fourth place today in the slow, from the University of Alaska Anchorage, Ella Bromley. to the podium we go with your third place finisher from the University of Denver, Sarah Ross. <laughs> and joining your teammate on the podium with a second place finish today from the University of Denver, Nora Brand.
and the champion of the women's slalom event, representing the University of Utah, let's hear it for the slalom champion, Madison Hoffman. NCAA Women's Slalom Champions! Congratulations!